Today we're going to be unboxing a gyrocopter electric scooter from the company Gyrocopters with a UL certification. Um, once again, this is from gyrocopters.ca. And we're unboxing this in the red color here. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what a UL certification is later in this video and the safety procedures that come along with it. Opening up the top of the box, you can see that there's a user manual and a charger in there. The user manual is fully comprehensive, shows you all the specifications as well as how to use the item if you're not familiar with it already. That's the user manual there, we'll put that aside for a minute and take out the charger. Now the interesting thing about the charger is that it's also certified by the company called UL, which means that it's fully equipped with safety uh, precautions such as a temperature gauge. Um, let's, let's focus on this here. If you want to see the specifications, you can pause the video now uh, and read all of those. Uh, but basically this has a temperature gauge on the inside so that if uh, the unit gets too hot, it'll kill the power instantly, uh, preventing any, any sort of outburst or overheating issue that may occur in other hoverboards that our competition provide. So we're going to take this out of the box and take a little bit of a closer look at the actual board itself. Here's how the hoverboard in the red color matte looks. It's got the gyrocopters.ca logo or imgadgets.com. The two panels are black with a lot of grip so that you can stand properly. Uh, let's turn the board around here and take a look at the charging port and the power button. Press the power button to turn on. You'll see the green light indicating that the battery is full. Turn that around and you see the two white panels, which are the lights. If you apply pressure to the hoverboard when you stand on it, the lights will turn on as you go, as such. Now let's remove the bottom panels by unscrewing the attachments and removing them to look at the inner circuitry of the hoverboard. Let's take a look at the inside of the board now. I'm gonna start by removing the side panels and placing them on the outside as such. The left panel that you see me picking up now is one that controls the LEDs. These LEDs are connected to the motherboard of the board. So we're gonna press on the clip down to remove those safely and place them aside as such. Now let's take a look at the inner workings of the board and all the circuitry. We're gonna start with the battery, which is the main white one that you see here. This battery is the upgraded and safe version in contrast to the old unsafe version that you see right now. This is the blue one, the unsafe version. This one was made by Samsung and had the problem with the temperature gauge issues. The updated version of this is the white one that is present in all of our boards. The blue one, again, has a temperature gauge issue whereas the white one is the one that is certified by UL and the one that we use here at Iron Gadgets and gyrocopters.ca. The white one is equipped with a temperature gauge that kills power instantly to the board if it exceeds a certain temperature. All of these components are waterproof that you see here, and the, the wiring is neat and organized to prevent any other sort of issue. Once again, I'm gonna show you the contrast between the two batteries. The blue one is the unsafe version, whereas the white one is the entirely safe version that is present in all of the gyrocopters.ca hoverboards. The blue one, again, unsafe, white one is safe. Now, since we've got that covered, I'm gonna place the panels back on the hoverboard as such. The right one going first, you want to attach all of the screws in the grooves that you see there, and then connect the LEDs back to the main motherboard of the hoverboard. Just as such, place down the panel again, put in the screws, and then you want to focus on this gold sticker right here. This is a UL certification, which means that the hoverboard is entirely safe, and you want to look for that. 